Hello, Pentatonix fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sans 3 Minutes Max. I want to start off this episode by saying these Surface Pros have such sucky white balance control. Just thought I'd throw that out there. We are imaging RAM on a MacBook Pro. We left off with the imaging process running in the last episode. Let's go see what we have now. You can see now that once the RAM image is created, it will go back to a command line. You won't have any other notice, no other information. Trust that it has completed properly. Now, there's a couple of things we can do at this point, um, but probably one of the most important things we want to do is we want to hash what we just collected. So at the command line, I'm going to issue an instruction to hash. I'm going to say MD5 because that's the hash that I want, and I'm going to navigate over to where I put my uh, RAM image. And then I'm going to tell it, I want you to push that MD5 out to a text file. And I'm gonna call that uh, RAM image hash dot txt. And I'm going to start that running. And that is going to hash the forensic image that I collected. And it's going to write that hash out to the indicated text file. The amount of time that that's going to take is roughly the same amount of time that it took to acquire the hash in the first place. Now, because we're using solid state drives, it may very well end a little bit faster. Maybe instead of two and a half minutes, it will take about two minutes. Now, I do want to show you something else while that's going on. Once you would be done that, you could go to your destination drive and open it up, and you're going to see that RAM image dump that we collected. Something that's very important to do is to right-click on that .dump file once you've created it, and go down to Get Info. When you select Get Info, you're going to see a screen that gives you some different information about the file. And you're going to see a couple of checkboxes here, and one of them says locked. We want to click locked. What that's going to do essentially is write block the file so that it doesn't accidentally get written to by something else. And then we can close that. We can see from our command line that our hash is still running. We're going to trust that it was created properly. And when we're done with that hash, we would just go to the RAM image hash.txt file and open it up, and that would contain the hash of our RAM. And that completes our acquisition of RAM hash on an Apple. In the meantime, and in between time, that's it, another episode of 3 Minutes Max.